Everybody, welcome back to playing the game of League of Legends. I'm the Strange Professor. We're doing a little Tom Kench action here. Uh, decided to VOD it a little bit late. Um, don't have a lot of Tom Kench, new Tom Kench, on the channel. Got a heal. It's fine. Okay, Ramus is top. Yeah, we're just playing Tom. Janna was banned, and as I was just explaining to the stream, that four people on this team like know what they're doing on their champion, and Ash doesn't. She said she was auto filled. She said she was bad, but she just kind of had a bad attitude about it. Um, and I've already used my three-point dodge for the day, so with that much experience on our team, I didn't really feel like using a ten-point dodge. Like I feel like we have a twenty, at least a twenty-six percent chance to win. It needs to be twenty-five or less to use a ten-point dodge. Um, that's just where we are. I don't think we're favored, but I don't think it's so bad that I should dodge with a ten-point dodge. With a three-point dodge, it only has to be uh, less than 41%. At least she's keeping up in CS. That's good. Ram's going to be really annoying to deal with. I guess I can just eat whoever he stuns as long as he doesn't stun me. get the three stacks I don't think maybe I could have tongue last year I'm not really sure it is pushing into us so I'm gonna let it keep doing that <clears throat> oh come on I miss both of those of course uh yeah it's pushing to us I don't know what I want to level up yet. I'll wait on, on it for a second. I think I could maybe eat him over the wall. You can eat people over really thin walls, but I think that wall might be a little too thick. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try for it. We are up in CS at this point.
is to deny a call. I'll protect you. She's staying with such low health. She's just going to keep missing CS. An ally has been cool with that. Nice. Sweet. Take it. Uh, okay, yeah. Rammus is top. We can put a lot of damage on this. Ash does take towers pretty quickly with her whatever that thing is. Let's push in one more wave. Alright, so just get to our forward item as fast as possible. I went Relic Shield. You can also go Coin if you really want to on Tom. Um, but this obviously gives you more combat stats early, which is good. It also gives you a heal. So Ash typically won't, like, Contemporary Ashes don't go Bork as much, and I don't have a healing lane either, so just having that extra heal both for me and for uh, my support. is helpful and you actually can keep up with gold not as much as coin but you still get some gold later because um that should probably be okay <clears throat> Yeah, she like flashed into it. She needed to flash to the side um, for that, but it's whatever. Okay, we'll grab that. Um, I guess we can just go Zeke's. I don't know, man. Like, look, she doesn't play ADC. She doesn't play Ash. She's gonna underperform. She told us that right from the outset. That's why I picked Tom Kench. It's because I just wanted to minimize damage. Although she's doing all right, you know, she's okay on CS. MF's one and four. Can we do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Okay. 
Zig's gonna come down and take this with us. He does have quite a bit of AD, so I have to be a little careful, but... Spit herself out. Oh my god, that crit. She even she didn't even have crit. How did it deal that much damage to me? God, I guess I should have grace getting there. I don't think I was getting out either way. Probably should have just gone one extra <clears throat> goth armor. I think Zeke's is probably the ticket here. Um, I mean, I could also go Knight's Vow. Knight's Vow does help against Jarvan first. Oh, she spit herself out. Oh, God. And that's one of the big problems with playing Tom Kench is if people just spit themselves right back out to death, then it doesn't really do a whole lot. I did save her from the J4 dunk, but then she just spit herself right back out and died.
Sig's gonna get it. Give him some vision. He's trying to hunt for him. I should have been dropping more vision as I ran around. Who's big? Kale's big, that's good. Zig's pretty big. Hey, what's up, Gilberto? You can still proc your money pretty easily with uh, this later on, so you're going to get more than you would with Spell Thieves off of this, and you get health stats later, so I think this is better. It's not as good as coin for money, but it's better than Spell Thieves for money. I do like that Ziggs takes towers really quickly. That's fine. No one took it. There's four people standing right next to me. Not a single person takes it. Hey, thanks so much for the donation. Hey, Professor. I have a family game. I'd like you to do a coaching session. I am donating $10 as a club member plus $10 for all the work you do. Smile. I will email you the rifle file. 
Thanks. Okay. Cool. Thanks. The only real sin is to deny a craven. Oh God. Uh. No. I got too distracted listening to that. I couldn't. I mean, I appreciate the donation, but I just wasn't focusing up. I thought that was someone on our team right there. Yeah, of course I appreciate the donation. That's just what happened right there. I just lost focus. Just kind of went on autopilot. Oh god. Well, is he gonna get him? I might get him. Okay, good. Um. Redemption or Val? I think Redemption. I guess we'll do Val. We'll do Val. Ash is not boosted, she's just bad. And I mean, she said she was gonna be bad. Like I said before, that's the whole reason I picked Tom Kinch here. So I'm just counting on everybody carrying Ash, basically. And I'm just trying to keep her from dying as much as possible. She said that. Like, she's like, I'm auto filled, I never ADC. Flat out said it. I'm gonna be bad. I told her to play Twitch, because then at least she would do damage later. Even if she fed, and she just didn't do it, but that's fine. Everyone else, like I said, has a lot of experience on their champions, and a pretty good win rate, so, you know. That in and of itself is pretty rare, so I think just having one person that we know is going to do poorly, and having a pretty decent probability that the other four people are going to do alright, that's fine. So usually you're going to have two people fail on your team, statistically, no matter what. Like, two and a half, if it's 50-50 every game. 50-50 chance to win, in theory, according to matchmaking every game. So having one guaranteed person that's going to fail, basically, in exchange for having four other people that are highly likely to succeed is a pretty good trade, I think. Certainly better than 26%. That's all you have to ask yourself about a 10-point dodge. Is it's like, is it better than 26%? kill this there we go. yeah that's all you have to ask yourself is is it more than 26 percent if it's more than 26 percent you shouldn't dodge so even if you have a 27 percent chance to win a game you shouldn't use your 10 point dodge on it obviously you can't get percentages that much but Oh, I've got to turn on my ult. I should have had the ult going right there. Are they coming out to defend this? No. They can't. Look okay, at Redemption is our last item, I suppose.
Yeah, Ash is autofilled. I mean, she was honest about it. She said she was gonna be bad. Like I said, she's like, guys, I'm gonna be bad. I never ADC. Oh, so she's, you know, she's straight up about it. So, you know, at that point, you just gotta, gotta decide if you wanna play the game or not. And like I said, I think I did because, you know, there's a high probability that at least you know, a couple of the other people are going to do well because they're all very experienced and have a high win rate on their champions. If they're playing, like, they're all one tricks on their respective champions, basically. No, I'm not a one trick on Tom, but Tom was my most played last season, I think. Um, and I was really good with him last season. He's not nearly as good this season as he was, but he still is good. In this certain situation, he's great. I've saved Ash from dying a lot. She still died six times, but she would have been in double digits if I hadn't been Tom Kench, probably. And Janet was banned. So. Okay, good. Well, we got a Tom Kinch game in there. It's good, because I haven't played him a lot this season. I have a ton of Tom Kinch videos. I think I have like 60 Tom Kinch videos on the channel or something, so I played him a lot last season, but... I mean, Tom Kinch is like Janna, too, where he just doesn't show up on stat sheets ever, hardly. He doesn't do damage. He doesn't heal a lot. So he's another person that people just don't understand. Although he has big impact. Like, the stuff that he does is visible, especially to the people that he does it to. So when you save somebody with Tom Kinch, they know it a lot of times. And they're like, oh my god, thank you so much. A lot of times. So Tom Kinch, you know, does make flashy plays to the people that you save. Now, no one else is going to notice it hardly. But um, the people that you save are almost always really grateful for it, and they notice it. Whereas with Janna, when you save people, a lot of people just don't even notice. They're like, oh, wow, that, that thing didn't do enough damage to kill me when you put the shield on him, like, right before an ultimate hits him or something. They'll be like, hmm, I guess that thing, just, I guess the enemy team's just not doing any damage. It's like, no, it's because Janna's shielding all that damage off of you. Um, but anyways, yeah, so Kench, okay, niche pick niche pick he's always good in certain certain comps right like traditionally he's good against like high cc pick comps in that type of meta right so he's good against ash he's good against morgana he's good against thresh you know which maybe i should play him more into thresh these days uh, but tank itemization is better but it's still not nearly as good as enchanter itemization so the fact that he can't really get like he can't get he can get ardent sensor he does have some ap on his q but it's it's not a great item on him he can't really get either ardent sensor comfortably and um he can't really leverage redemption that well either uh locket you know locket is still pretty good but i don't know he does use zeke very well like, if they nerf, he'll be one of the major beneficiaries if they nerf Ardent Sensor a lot. Uh, I think they should nerf it a little bit. Um, they could take, like... Like, if they took the plus healing off of it, that would be a start. Um, you could take the plus healing off of it. And then, if they put some other stat on it, like... It would be good with Stoneborn Pact... They'd have to put something else on there if they took the plus healing off. Uh, it has so much stuff, though, that's good on it. You could probably just remove the plus healing and it would still be a good item. But anyways, that's it for the Tom Kinch video. The stream's going to go on. Thank you very much, Tom Kinch. Niche pick, but he can be strong in the right circumstances. 
uh, so far as of 7.15. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.